podcast. Welcome to the next episode of the Vibe Tribe. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Vibe Tribe. We're on the road today. We're on the road. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to be adventurous and, you know, talk while while I'm driving. I'm on the road again. You know, I'm on the road again. I'm on the road a lot. (laughs) Should start singing Willie Nelson's on the road again. Um, I'm just on the road a lot and I'm just traveling, you know, back and forth from to different things and um, just wanted to um, you know wanted to t- twist it up a little bit and just talk you know while I'm driving and I'm on my, on my, on my way to uh, my destination and just talk about um, just talk about like you know I, I went to get my haircut as you can see how's it look I went to get my haircut and then um, I was um I think what I liked about it is that when I got there, then I just, you know, I went to, to, to my barber or whatever, and then, um, and then I just didn't, I just didn't talk. I just didn't feel like talking, you know what I mean? Like, am I, am I a jerk for not wanting to talk? Like, I just want to get my hair cut, and then I just went in and out, and then uh, there are times where, I mean, there are times where I am, like, you know, um, want to talk and want to, you know, chat and, and stuff and make conversation with somebody, but this time I just didn't feel like it. I just, you know, I just... I don't know what it was. I just didn't want to, you know, have a conversation. I just wanted to get my haircut because I had there's other stuff that I needed to do. Um, and it was it was nice just to uh, what well, first of all like they like they massage your your hair. You know they massage uh, your scalp and and um, you know you get a little they they do that and they you know they shampoo your hair. They massage it at the same time and. Then, you know, then they all sit sit you down just to get uh, you know your haircut. So that was nice. So it was just nice to do that peacefully. You know what I mean? Like without any like like chatting or anything. Like I just didn't have to think. You know. Um, so it, it's I don't know. I'm, I'm like, am I a jerk just just for wanting to like get a haircut? I mean, there was there was a point where I was like, you know, like I was wondering like what to say if this person make, makes a conversation. Like how do I proceed to be like, oh, I don't want to talk. But I ended up like, you know, um, she ended up not, um, you know, just doing her job. And maybe she just picked up on the signs that I just didn't want to talk. Maybe I was just quiet. I mean, I wasn't like making conversation. I mean, there are times where they, they do make conversation and they're like, oh, you know, how's it going? How's your family? Da, da, da. How's work? Um, you know, but not this time. This time she just kind of dedicated her time to do the haircut. Um, so I thought, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> and then the other day I went to, um, uh, me and my daughter went to, uh, what is it called? Applebee's. We went there just to have supper, you know, just to have dinner together. And there was like this baby there. So we were sitting at a table and there's like the little division, you know, in between, uh, you know, this hallway and another hallway. And, um, you know, we were eating our food and then all of a sudden there's like this baby kind of like looking over the la- like little ledge. And it was cute at first, like, oh, cool, you know, a cute baby. But then, like, okay, all right, so we're eating here. And then the, the baby starts, like, you know, being fussy. So it wasn't, like, it wasn't uh, cute anymore. So does that make me a jerk, you know, that, like, okay, now you, you can take your baby back now, you know. Uh, maybe because it's not ours, right? Maybe because it's not mine, you know. Because um, I'm like, oh, it's cute. Maybe it, yeah, baby, it's it's cute. in Little doses when it's not yours. Then when, when the baby starts buzzing, then you're like, okay, here you can have it back. But um, I don't know. I always like to have dinner with my uh, with my daughter and just be there present. You know what I mean? And it's inevitable because I'm all, so like when you are an entrepreneur, when you have business owner, or where you are. Um, juggling multiple projects, you know, it's like uh, the, the cell phone is the cell phone is like a really nice tool to have. Uh, everything's so accessible, like you can go, uh, you know, you can just buy anything. You can just, you know, buy and sell anything online now with the cell phone, right? So if you want to buy, if you want to sell a car, you can just easily, you know, put a picture on it with the description and everything, and then you 
you just use your phone, right? So I do a lot of that. Not cars, but I do a lot of that. I work with my phone and emails and all that stuff. So I'm so used to it. It's like my tool, right? I need it for work. Uh, so I did. I do catch myself like reaching for my phone and, and then you know and trying to look at my phone and see if I get any updates. But I think it's important to 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 set aside time for your daughter or, or for your family or whatever it is and um, and not lose your focus you know um, so I try to do that like there there has been a few times where I do um, do work while I'm doing with when I'm with my family or with my daughter or if I'm just having you know out having dinner with somebody or there are very very few times I've done that but I try to make an effort just to be like keep that separate you know I think it's a it's, uh, uh, because I know how annoying it is for me like when you're talking to somebody and they're, they're like they're pulling the phone they pull out the phone and they're checking like they're, I mean what, it could be nothing you know they just they're just a habit you know and, um, I get ticked when that when it happens because you know? I think we should have some self-control and, and I think like we um, it's like a tool you, you gotta use it as a tool not just that you know something that you that you have to rely on all the time so I try to have my daughter so when she's with me and like, we're hanging out or she, you know we're just like chilling or whatever going to the store or whatever um, we well I, like I don't have her use my phone you know what I mean like if she's bored I try to do something with her or I just try her I think it's important for kids to know how to uh, distract themselves, right? So I think it's it's I think it's important, and because as as a parent, sometimes like we don't want to deal, um, we don't want to deal with kids, you know, having tantrum, temper tantrums or whatever. And then it's so easy just to give them a phone, give them a tablet, or or whatever, uh, because it's the easiest thing that we can do, and it's so accessible. But it, you know, I think it teaches kids that. You know, you have a tantrum, or you, you want attention, you want something. Okay, here, here's, here it is. Here's your tablet. You know, here you go. That's a, that's like, um, you know, that stuff's a problem. But I think it's important, like I said before, like to teach kids how to distract themselves. How and I, and I think it just makes them creative. You know, I'm, I mean, that's what I'm aiming for. You know, I'm aiming for my daughter to, to be, well, first, you know, to try to entertain herself, to try to entertain herself, and then. Um, you know, try to be creative and, and and then if that doesn't work and if she's still bored I just like put it to work I put her to work and I'm like hey you want to work and then she's like okay let's go wash dishes you know you know what I mean and then an hour passes by and then now she's like tired and then by the end, end, of, the, uh, end of the night then it's already like that time or whatever so uh, but it's a it's an ongoing thing it's an it's an ongoing problem and uh, the more I started looking at that thing, the more I started looking at life, I think everything's like a problem, right? I think, uh, I'm not sure if I talked about it, talked about it on this podcast, but I think, you know, that everything's a problem, right? Everything's like, uh, even, you know, if, if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, it's like, it's solving a problem, right? Where, you know, you observe what, in your community, what it's, what, a, what is their... And a problem, you know, that they're having, and how you can be, um, how you can come up with a solution for that problem, and then you know, market yourself kind of like that, and, and then you know, that's how some businesses, you know, um, you know, come about. You know, like that, um, you know, how there's like this receipts, you know, like we save receipts instead of like you know saving them on paper. Uh, there's this app where you know you can just snap or scan it, right, and you get rid of it. So it's kind of like one of that idea that. You know, um, it, it's all problem solving. You know, even with relationships and even with uh, friendships, relationships. And you know, I was talking to a friend of mine about that, about how you know, learning how to solve problems when, uh, as a single person, you know, as a single, as a single person, and when you go into a relationship and you already have like that skill, how to solve problems, it, it's going to be a, a lot smoother ride once you go into a relationship you know what I mean like once you um, you know start once you start dating somebody and then you know there's there's problems that they're gonna, that you guys are gonna face each other or whatever once you have the skills it's all a matter of like problem solve like what's 
you know, like negotiating with the other person and, and come up with a plan. It's like, hey, you know, this is not working out. You know, maybe we can do this. Let's try this, right? And I always try to face my problems. I always try to be, what's the word? I'm trying to find the word that I always use to confront. You know, I, I always confront the other person. It doesn't mean like confronting in a way where like, I, I just want to pick a fight, right? I don't, I don't want to win. You know, I, I really don't want to win. If I win, to me, winning is like solving a problem, right? Even if it's not my idea. Um, just with, just if I work as a collaborative too, you know, if we solve a problem. You know, when you're passionate about something, it's your, even if it's not my idea that wins, you know, it just matters that it was part of, I have to like pull over because there's an animal that's coming. Let's pause here for a minute. to somebody but it's it's in a communicative way you know it's 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 in a way that I'm trying to communicate to this person that like I hey I don't agree like uh, with what you're saying or with whatever your plan is like for example uh, there's this person that uh, he's big I think I've talked about him <laughs> in the past you know I he uh, he's uh, he's a person who I well, uh, I like very much, and he's a friend of mine. And um, but he's always trying to like set something. He wants to set something up, you know, with, like with me. It's like, hey, you know, uh, uh, let me come out by you. Let's let's hang or whatever. And it's it's been three, four times already where we set something up. It's like, hey, I'm I'm free Monday. Let's do something. I'm free Tuesday. Let's do something. Friday, let's do something. You know, I'm, I'm always agree. I'm always trying to like be flexible with my schedule and try to be, try to be, you know, open. You know, because I think it's it's a friend, of, it's a person that I haven't um, connected in a while, and uh, and I, I want to make an effort to 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 really be a friend, right? And it's work. And like I said before, everything's problem solving, and uh, and. I like to confront, you know, and I confronted him, and I, I mean, I, he's, I had to do it by text, you know, and I had to say, like, hey, I just don't, um, I, I'm not a big believer in, like, um, in words with, um, how did I put it, um, like, pretty much saying, like, uh, like, if you say, like, you're going to show up, like, show up, and don't just say it because it sounds like a nice idea. Like empty words, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of empty, um, empty words where you, you're like, you know, like, hey, we should, you know, do something or whatever, and you know, we should hang out. Like, no, like, I'm, I, I, I just, I don't have time for that. Like, if, if you're gonna do something, let's plan it and put it together. And and, um, and I've been, uh, I used to, I used to do that a lot with a lot, with a lot of friends. You know, like uh, like we used to go like back and forth. It's like, hey, did you say you were gonna hang? I thought you said you were gonna hang out. You're still coming or whatever. And then hope, you know, I was hoping that that he was gonna show up or, or whatever. Uh, but that never happened. That it just never happened. So I just confronted, the, you know, confronting my friend. I was like, hey, you know, just uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't, you know, I'm not a big fan of 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 words, you know, uh, that are just, you know, that are just words, you know. And, and, you're gonna do something you know like do it and and the reason why I, I do this like or the reason why I confront the other person is it's kind of like um, I think it's important you know telling the other person or communicating this you know to the other person um, I think it's important you know in order for growth and, and, and I talked about this too where I've confronted people where I <laughs> wrong gear sorry I confronted people where um, where I felt that it's out of my place, you know, to confront the other person, and um, and I recently ran into this person. I, I mean, I knew I was gonna lose a friend, you know, when I before I did this. So I'll tell you the story. So there was this person who uh, who was a friend of mine, and he was just like self-destructing himself, you know, with 
by just consuming a lot of alcohol. Like that's his, um, his pretty much his life just revolved, you know, around just drinking alcohol and, and he, I mean, yeah, he was, he was depressed and kind of like self medicating himself that way. And I just told him, it's like, Hey, like, is this, you know, I asked him questions like to really trigger his thinking. It's like, is this the way, is this the way that you want to live? Is this, is this how you want to reach your goals? You know, cause this person's like, um, you know, smart, this, this person's smart, but like, um, you know, he just trapped, he was just trapped and I just confronted him and said, Hey, if, you, if this is what you want to do, like, is this how you're going to reach your goals? You know, you said you want to do this. You said you want to do that. Is this going to help you? And I just ask a lot of questions. And, and when somebody has like a, an addictive behavior, it, I feel like you need a lot of tools and, a, and a lot, you need a lot of people um, involved. You know what I mean? And I, I try to involve his family. And I, and I try to involve his family. And that's the part that, I, that I'm telling you that I feel like was out of my place. But it, 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 it was, it, it had a positive intent, right? Um, I knew it was out of my place and I knew I was gonna you know, lose his friendship and that we were not, not gonna be friends. I knew he was gonna be mad at me. I knew all this. I, I, I did this with a conscious you know, goal, you know, with, with this in mind, that my goal was that I just wanted him to be better and, and, and reach, reach his goals or, you know, uh, I just couldn't let somebody or just can not let a friend, you know, uh, do that. And I'll do, and I'll do that with any family member or any friend. You know, I'm not gonna, like, are you gonna, do you wish, um, you know, like, or do you, do you let somebody, you know, do that, you know, as a family member, as a friend? You know, do you let it, you know, let it happen? Like, no, I think we need to interfere. We need to do, we need to do something. That's one, you know, that's one of the things I try to do, you know, and, and it was hard. It was really hard just confronting him and speaking with his family. And I was very tactical and I was very respectful at the same time. But I, I, I try to do it with reason, you know, and not just do it because, I don't know, I, like I really wanted to help him, you know what I mean? But I think looking at the situation, that it was going to be, um, there was going to be a a cost to that um, so anyway so I bump into him um, actually yeah, like maybe a couple of weeks ago I haven't talked I haven't talked since that happened years ago and I haven't talked to him and I and I and I just um, I just didn't talk to him I didn't text him call him or anything you know at one point we were you know living together so and we came and we were friends prior to that so I bump into him and he's like, hey, how you doing? Like, like as if everything was normal. And I'm like, hey, how are you? You know, da, da, da. You know, and, I, and we talk, you know, here and there about what I've been doing, and what he's been doing. And then he's like, you know, I'm going to tell you something. He's like, I'm, I was like fucking mad at you. And I'm like, <laughs> and I, and I kind of chuckle a little bit because I'm like, oh, yes, I would be, I would be mad with somebody, you know, if somebody kind of came into my life and kind of told me what to do right um but then i told him that you know that i, I just wasn't gonna let it let that i just wa wasn't gonna let uh let him go through that right because i knew deep in his heart i, th I felt like deep in his heart he was uh he was a, he was a good guy he was a nice guy and he he just he just um I don't know. I, th I think he was, he just made a mistake and and just didn't know how to deal with his, his issues and and then that was the easiest thing to do, right? And it could be uh, it just cultivated into him like drinking and self-destructing, you know. And um, but thankfully, he said he was you know he he that he had been sober for months, you know, and and, and I was and I was really happy to hear that. Um, so that to me that's more to be honest with you that's more important to me than friendship you know sometimes you just have to you know sacrifice that friendship you know to you know for a, another person's sake or another person's well-being you know what I mean 
and and uh, yeah so so that's what I'm saying you know I think it's important to confront people but it's the goal is to c communicate your ideas and, and come up and be more collaborative and not be like you know do this because I say so you know I'm not I'm, I'm not looking for that I'm looking for to solve you know issues or, or a problem I think everything's a problem, you know? and I try to embrace everything that happens in my life and try to embrace it as a, uh, try to look at it that way, you know what I mean, and I think, uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many things that I'm afraid of, there's there's so many concerns, and there's so many, um, you know, anxieties, and there's, there's so many, I'm pre preoccupied about a lot of things, but I try to welcome that, you know? I try to work them then and try to work them out. And I think that's what happens when you don't try to work them out. It's it's so easy to to be like, I'm just gonna like drink so I forget about it. I'm just gonna like you know, go out so I can forget about it. You know, it, it's, it makes you stronger. If you like fucking face those problems right in the face and tackle them and come up with a plan, you become a, you become a better, not a better man, but you become a better person, you know, after accomplishing that. And, and I think it's like I'm not I don't think it's like something that you you do in your 20s and your 30s 40s I think it's like for a lifetime it's just you know everything's you never stop learning like every uh, every day I learn something new just about life or about goals or about anything you know what I mean um, and it's just about it's switching your I think you have to switch your mentality a little bit you have to think more a little bit more positive yeah you have to juggle a lot of things like you know what's what's uh what's a word what's realistic but also be optimistic and be realistic and it's balancing all those ideas back and forth so that's what i'm saying like it takes uh, i think it's a, it's a never-ending learning process you know how, how to communicate with people how to become a better person how to become smarter and how I mean, you can do all of that, but it's something that you just have to keep, keep practicing, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep going. And I, and I truly feel that people are in a trance. I truly feel, you know, uh, I truly feel that people are in a trance where it's like an ongoing cycle. Because I've been there. I've been there in that cycle where you question, you know, it's like, you know, maybe this is happiness. Maybe this is how the happiest I'm going to be, right? And because you're afraid of change, you're afraid of of, of breaking old habits because it, and that's what I'm telling you. You're afraid of uh, a lot of things. Afraid. And I mean, it's gonna it's gonna suck. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be really shitty facing the, your your you know those moments. And, and I've been learning is that you are your worst. I, I'm still kind of like my own and my my own worst enemy uh, at times. But I think I try to you. You utilize that to my advantage, but I, I know a lot of people. They're, they're they're they are their worst enemy, and you can't manifest things. Like you have to manifest them. Like uh, I, I know a lot of people that say, like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, and uh, I have an idea for a business, I have an idea for this, I have an idea for an art project, I have an idea for music, I want to do this, and that. But I think it's important to make. Like try to manifest it. Try to uh, find ways to, you know, make it make it happen. And sometimes those things that you have to do are gonna be really shitty, and you don't want to do it. You know, you're you're not gonna want to do it. It's like it's not gonna it's gonna feel like you're, it's not fun anymore. But I think it's necessary. You know what I mean? It's necessary. Like wake up in the morning. Like wake early in the morning and, and start making a plan of what you're gonna do. And, Life is busy, I know that, but you can you can find time to do what you want to do on the side. You can, you can go to school, you can, you can you know you can be a parent, you can be you can go to school, or um, you can have a full time job, and you still can do what you know what you want to do. But you have to make a plan um, because we only get one life. You know, we only get one life, and you got to make the best of it. And, and the older that I get, the older the older they get, the older. Well, yeah, the older they get, yeah, has some has some gray hair, but I try to embrace it. I try to embrace it. Um, well, the, the the older, yeah, we don't get any any younger. You know, we're getting older, and, and the, the older 
that you get time becomes more precious and time becomes becomes more valuable and and, uh, and I just wish I, I would have figured this out you know earlier in my life and try to invest more in my mental health invest more in me right and try to cultivate all these ideas that I've you know that I've come up with and I mean it's it's I don't it doesn't follow like a certain it doesn't follow like a certain religion or, or a certain you know pattern or anything it's like I, I just create my own ethics I, I, cre I create my own beliefs you know I create my own um, ideas you know what I, what I think it's right you know I create my own formula what I, what I think is the best formula for myself because everything every, everybody has a different journey everybody's grows up differently you know you know what I mean like I Everybody has like a different journey, so I think it's. Um, so that's why like not one thing, one thing can apply to you know to everybody or to others. But um, yeah, so I guess you just keep it's it's an ongoing work. You just have to keep working at it, and, and uh, you know it's it's energy, it's energy. So you have to. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of meditation. You know? That's what I try to try to do. You know, like I try to like sit down. I try to sit down and uh, just be in my room and just like you know try to sort. I think that's when I'm like trying to sort out all, all, of, all of my problems. Try to sort them out, and I sort them out and be like, okay, so I need to do this tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, what I found out like to, to be successful at. Um, at accomplishing your goals is to make a list, right? I think uh, I think I read somewhere like the best or the the one. I mean, there's so many things, you know, um, that successful people do. You know, as far as an entrepreneur or whatever, one of those things that they practice is like they make a list. They make a list of, you know, of what they need to do. You know, the night before, you know. And so, so that's what I try to do. I try to make it like, and it's it's a long list, and and my goal is to get it accomplished by the end of the night. And there's like five or six times. There's five or six points, you know, five or six things that I I, I want to get done, you know, and I run them down the night before, and that just kind of helps you accomplish your day, you know, just keeps you focus, and and a lot of a lot of things, um, a lot of things are. Um, they're, they don't get done because you lose your focus. Whether if it's like a toxic relationship or it is, um, you know, you are caught up in drama or you are just wasting time on little shitty things that are meaningless, that they don't get you anywhere. And I think a, a lot, focus has to do a lot with that. Um, and yeah, it's. I try to I try to be very focused. I try to be, you know, and this is the stuff that I that I'm trying to practice, and this is the stuff that's that I've been working on. You know what I mean? And it's, I'm trying to, you know, be, you know, just maintain my focus on what I'm doing. Try to get things done, and be consistent and be efficient. But at the same time, try to be like the nice nice guy that I am, right? Like I don't want to um, change the person. Like I don't want to that's a challenging thing like you can become all these things right you can be like disciplined and try to become a perfectionist and do the, do the right thing be more efficient but I don't want it to take away from like my personality I don't want to become like this you know um, cold person you know? so I want to be able to like you know like chill and, and make friendships and, and uh, you know hang out with my daughter and, and be sweet to her and, and, and um, you know be sweet to people and care about them that's a challenging thing that's that's the thing that um, once it starts doing that I think that's that's when I'm missing you know start getting concerned you know, like once it starts once once it's changed my personality once it changes like okay well I'm, I'm tr really you know becoming a jerk I'm really becoming you know um, really bullying people then that's what I'm you know I'm gonna you know really think about like oh well maybe I am doing too much you know um, maybe I gotta tone it down and maybe maybe I gotta find a balance you know
know what I mean? But with all being said, I appreciate you guys tuning in for another episode. I hope you got you guys enjoy this little ride with me here in the car. Um, you know, just want to switch it up, you know, and that kind of helps me because I don't have to like, yeah, it's like like I said before, like I'm I'm, I'm a one man show. You know, I'm a one man show and I, you know, I do the whole production. I do the, the editing, the recording, I, I, I set up the cameras, I set up the studio, I set the lighting and that's work. You know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And then editing, you gotta listen, you know, listen to the podcast or the recording back and try to edit it. So, so this makes it a little bit easier, you know, it makes it really easier more fun more interesting and i hope you but the content you know itself it's always going to be the same it's always you know interesting it's always you know giving you a different perspective and maybe trigger you know maybe trigger those thoughts in your head and be like yeah you know maybe maybe i am gonna try to come out of that trance or try to do the do things differently or or try to shake the room a little bit and Yes, some things may came, my, uh, some good things might come out of it, um, but you don't know until you try. So, without being said, thanks for watching. Till next time. Extraño y te quiero.